Yeah, the purpose of this video is to uh, is to show that it will start. This is a E350 1993 5.8, and um, it's got the TFI ignition. I'm with the uh, right meter. I'm monitoring the PIP in on the uh, TFI, and I'm also monitoring the 12 volts. Uh, to the relay on the computer on the left meter, which was my problem. Inside the distribution box I had an open corroded connection and I still haven't gotten in there to fix it but I did temporarily jump it inside there and I'm, I'm monitoring the, the input to the PCM right now, which I wasn't getting before. I was getting the constant on, hot at all times, uh, 12 volts on the yellow wire, which is the same output fuse but uh, there was an open connection from the output voltage of the fuse to the uh, computer relay PCM uh, relay so I just want to show you that I am getting that now um, I am not getting the 10 volts which a lot of people say you need to get and mine will still start without the 10 volts. That was the main purpose of this. And also the main purpose was to show, tell people that uh, you, you, if, you're, if it, you're getting a crank, but no start, no spark, check your voltages to your, uh, in your power distribution box. Check the voltages to the computer and just check all your output voltages in the distribu distribution box. In my case, there was an what's called an open connection, the opposite of a short. Mine was an open connection from the output of the 30 amp fuse in the distribution box to the relay to the computer PCM re, uh, back back in here. Mine's back mounted on the firewall, and uh, I'm not getting the 10 volts. I know a scanner Danner and Eric the car guy had a video, and he said the 10 volts was important. Definitely with mine it's not important. This is a 1993. Um, what is important though is to get that 12 volts to, uh, to the computer, but it also goes to other sections of the uh, car. It's a very crucial 12 volts to get. So I'm going to start it up right now and you can see even though that I, I'm not getting the 10 volts on the the top pin, the PIP pin, it will still start. In fact, I'm, all, I'm hardly getting any voltage. I'm getting 0.06. Okay, you can see there where the right meter did jump up to six and a half. So I would say those would be the more important voltages. Uh, um, right now the key's off. Before uh, when I started the video, the key on, engine off position. Uh, so I just wanted to uh, uh, tell people that you don't need the 10 volts on the uh, top pin PIP. At least with my design, they're all similar, but I don't need it on my design. This is a, once again 1993 E350 with a 5.8 engine in it. Same system, TFI, fender mounted. Um, and once again, my problem was uh, uh, corroded or burnt. I haven't opened it up yet. It's a bad connection, no connection, an open, what's called an open connection. So I was getting zero voltage from the output of the 30 amp fuse in the distribution box to the uh, PCM relay. Now once I got that back, it started up great, even though I didn't get the 10 volts on the, on the, on the right meter. I got a .06 as a matter of fact, hardly any voltage. But I did get the important 12 volts uh, key on engine off voltage there 
which shares the same fuse with the, with the hot at all times. So the hot at all times was okay. That was coming out of the same fuse. It was just that the little tiny, it's just a little tiny, tiny piece of uh, wire that was uh, bad. So it's uh, it's going to be difficult to work on that PCMs down in here. I've heard some are actually worse so buried in there, but it's, but I have to get in there and do that and um, and, and uh, fix that connection. Um, so that's what I, wa I wanted to make people aware of. Here I was uh, wasting a lot of time trying to trying to trying to hunt down that to see where I was missing that 10 volts, and uh, all the while I didn't even need it. At least on this design, on this vehicle, once again, 1993 E350 with a 5.8 in it. So you can you can see that it, it was not needed the 10 volts on on this one anyway. So if anybody's pulling their hair out trying to find that 10 volts, uh, make sure that uh, you're getting uh, uh, all the other voltages. Get the I just worked with it with the hands manual. Um, and that was good enough. It's really, really vague in there. They had just a block diagram, but there was enough there. Plus, 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 plus with info on the internet too. If you go to the Ford truck forums, there's a lot of good info there. People put up a lot of, uh, will put up a lot of helpful uh, uh, diagrams and schematics there. So, I did not have to order the 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 factory manual on it at all. Thankfully, they can be really expensive. Um, so thankfully I was able to do it even though it's uh, turning out to be difficult uh, to get at the power distribution box but much more easier to get at the, uh, to change the, the, the profile ignition pickup sensor also known as a crank sensor in other vehicles which is in the side the distributor so you have to change the whole thing mine is buried back in here right back in there and you can't see it but way back in there and it's underneath the firewall so it looks like the engine would have to be dropped to uh, to do it it's right right down in there and, and look what's right on top of it so that would have I wouldn't even have done that I would have just towed it up the front I gotta I've got to drive this thing a hundred yards up in the front by the by the street so that's why it was important for me to get this thing going again and thankfully I did so I just want to let people know in my case uh, I did not need to have that 12 volts there with the key on engine off it started anyway the more important voltage for me was at 12 volts approximately I think I was getting 12 and a half there depends on the battery you know what the battery what's in the battery but uh, that's the more that was the more important voltage to me to get that that 12 volts to the uh, computer and it goes to, it goes to all, all sorts of other uh, places in the in the vehicle too so uh, that's one thing you want to check is your voltages always check your voltages I'm used to work on an elect consumer electronics and the voltages are the first thing I always checked okay good luck on it bye